Hi, I'm Alessio Cavatore, and I'm a great fan of Rock Roar. I'm Rory Benton of Benton Games, and I'm a great fan of Rock Roar. What's up Wargamer? He is Rocco from Fit Central Studio in Spain. Plascraft Games is a Spanish company that makes buildings in pre-cut plastic cut. In this video we will show you the country dwelling one. This building is for the production line Fouquet for Kensei. In this video we will show you how easy it is to work and build these buildings. We will show you the product as it is sold, how to work with it and how it looks when it is finished. So pay attention because it's really interesting. The plegamo! Here we have the country dwelling one from Plastcraft Games from the set. Fouquet designer for say. As you see, the presentation is really good. Let's see behind. Here we can see the pre cut plastic card and some elements, some racing parts. And here on the top, you can see the rules in Spanish, English, and the elements you need a cutter, glue, and some paint. Actually, the presentation is really good. Let's now look in the front. Here in the front, you can see a picture how the building looks finished and a miniature so you know how big it is actually. And in the top section, there are step by step diagram how to build it. It is easy to understand and to follow. Now let's look inside. Here we have the pre cut plastic card. As you can see, we can see all elements the roof, the walls, and the wooden planks. You only have to cut them out with a cutter. Afterwards, because it's plastic cards, you have to work this material so you can achieve the desired effect as the wooden effect or the stone. For achieving the end result, we'll need some tools like working knife, lancet, metal files, sandpaper and metal brushes. We will achieve a good end result for the roof and the wood effect. And also we will use a stone so we can achieve the texture for the walls. With this building it comes also these resin parts. Let's look at them. Here we have the resin parts. As you can see there are a lot of them. There are 18 stones that have, are put on the roof. And then we have the door and the window. You can see the door has its mark and also the window. Both of them have a nice wooden finish with all the details. Then, if you turn around, you can see a border at the back side of the door. It is to glue it easier to the house when finished, and also the window has it. But the window has this border outside. You can see here. You will see it in detail when we build them in the building. Here we have the country dwelling one. Before beginning, we have to remove a transparent foil it has behind on the plastic card. Afterwards, we can begin to cut the elements out freehand one by one. If you prefer, you can cut all the elements together or you can cut them as you need it and work them out. Some parts will resist you, so you have to use the tip of the working knife to cut them right out. You only have to make a little more pressure in the corners of any of the elements to get them all out. Using a stone you can really achieve a good stone effect on the wall. It looks old and that the paint is loose. If you doesn't achieve the end result you want, you can repeat the effect again as much time you need until it looks as you want to. If you want more detail on the wall, you can also use the metal brush, making pressure over the walls so it gets more detail and looks more wasted. To make easier the building process, I will check now if the window and the door fits in the wall. For this I make the necessary change until they fit in and afterwards I will glue them. For gluing these parts, I will use super glue. For this time, I will glue them and afterwards check the beneath section so the door fits really good in and hasn't any border. For making the straw roof, I will use my sculpting tool on its more rounded end. 
and make lines all along, as they look as straw. I will do this on both sides and making quite good pressure on them. Afterwards, I will cut all the borders so I can achieve a really regular borders and it looks more as a straw roof. For making this effect, you can also use the metal brush so it gets more detail on the straw roof. To make the effect on the wooden boards, you have to do a pre-work of cutting all edges of them, so it becomes them rounded. Now, afterwards, you have only to make some pressure points in the wooden effect and make lines from up to down, avoiding these pressure points you made, so it looks more wooden. This effect, you have to do it only on one side, because these wooden planks will be glued on the wall. Passing the metal brush in one direction, you give the wooden planks the last touch to finish them and make them more woody. Now let's start the work with the wooden slats of the roof. For them you have to cut all the borders, one by one, on every one of them, so it looks more wasted and old, as really wooden slats on the roof that has been hit by wind and rain and the bright sun. Afterwards, you finish all of them. We will do the same with the wooden slats of the walls. They are smaller, but you have to achieve the same result, cutting all the edges. Afterwards, we will pass them all over the metal brush, one by one, on every of its sides. When we have worked through all pieces, we will begin to glue them together. But this we will use again super glue and glue them in L section, so the walls stand by themselves. Afterwards we will glue the both sections together. Then we will glue the straw roof on the walls. For this we will use super glue and make a lot of pressure so it stands by itself. You have only to seek the middle section and glue them both. Now we can glue the wooden slats on the house. For this we have to look that the wooden slats gets really on the top of the roof and afterwards we will cut the edges of the lower side of the house. Now it's time to glue the wooden boards. Sometimes you have to cut some of the edges so they fit between the wooden slats in the house walls. For gluing the wooden slats on the roof we will begin with the center one. We put some super glue and glue them. Afterwards, we will look the distance they have to have so the stones have place between them. Take in mind you have to do this all before putting the stones. Now it's time for preparing the stone. For this, we will clean all edges and put them aside. Afterwards, you have cleaned all the stone. You can put them over the roof so you can see the distribution you want to use for them. When you have decided, you only have to take some green stuff or similar and make some paste. Now we will put it under the stone so they fit better on the roof and afterwards we will glue them all. With the sculpting tool you can retouch the stone so they fit better and here we have the finished house. It looks great, right? Here is the finished building. I think the end results are really good. And the effects we have achieved working the plastic card are nice. Now for painting it we have used some watercolor as color base. And then we have used some wooden color and bleached bone for the walls or similar. And for the roof, straw roofs, some yellowish brown. If you look closer to the wall you will see it has different tones. For the base color we have used some bleached bone or similar and paint it all. Afterwards we have used some washes like brown and black to make the different tones. We have put more washes on the edges so it looks more dirty and uh, makes the shadow more outstanding. Because we have worked the walls with stone and the metal brushes, the washes have introduced themselves on the wrist 
and shapes we have made. All this makes that this building looks really, really old. For the wood we have used some dark brown on base and highlighted with clearer browns and also used some black washes so it is more clear. For the roof we have used some yellowish brown and afterwards we have used some brown washes so you get this strawy effect. I think the end result is really good and you can also use some highlights to make it more outstanding. Then the color base of the stones are grey with some black washes and highlighted with a clear grey. Really easy to achieve. The end results are really great and easy to achieve with these little steps we have shown you. The final touch we have done with this house is to take a thin wooden board and put some sand and white glue on it. Afterwards we put also this stone to make an entrance to the house and then we painted it with a brownish earth and put some green on it. The green is really ne near to the house so it makes a perfect union with everything. Another detail we have to show you is that we painted the inside of the house with black. So when you look through the window of this hole you actually see black and not a white plastic card. This is the finished country dwelling one.